boss battles. Commonly thought of as hair-pulling, rage-inducing, and incredibly frustrating, often we talk about the significance of them as well as strategies to put these difficult fights six feet under. However, more often than not, we miss one of the most important aspects of them, the battle music. Hey there, welcome back to Shinky JRPGs. Or if it's your first time here, welcome to my cozy JRPG channel. Today we are talking about 10 of the best boss battle themes in JRPGs over the years. If you remember, I did a video a little while back on my favorite JRPG battle themes. The community seemed to enjoy it, so I figured it was time to do another video focusing on the boss battle themes instead. Just like in the previous video, this is all down to personal opinion. You might not agree with my choices, but like I said, it's just my personal opinion. So instead of heckling me, which you can totally do too if you really want to, tell me what your favorite boss battle music is. As well, I am limiting the music to just one song per franchise, just so that we can get a little bit of variation as opposed to having four different Final Fantasy themes or five different Trails themes. Seems like a good idea. In addition to that, naturally, as this video is focused on bosses and their battle themes, spoilers will be everywhere. So be warned, keep an eye on the title cards if being spoiled is a concern, and strap yourselves in, grab a drink, and get ready to jam out to 10 of my favorite boss battle themes. To get this list started, we have I'll Face Myself from Persona 4, composed by Shoji Meguru. I'll Face Myself is the basic boss battle theme for when you are fighting a character's shadow at the end of each dungeon. Very heavy on the guitar, with a nice drum beat, it fits so well. This was the first Persona game I played, so this music is one of those themes that sticks in my head. I really like the energy behind the song in various parts, and how it slows down just to show that while you are beating the crap out of your friend's shadow, that there is a sense of emotion and empathy behind the song as well. Such a good theme, it sets the mood perfect for those hard as nails fights. Anyways, on to the next song on this list. Now for boss battle theme number two, a champion battle from Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Composed by Junichi Masuda, have you ever sat down and listened to the final champion themes from each Pokemon game? It's incredibly hard to pick just one as they're all incredibly well done. After listening to all of the gym and champion battles from each of the nine gens of Pokemon, I had to go with the Lance champion battle theme. This song is the meaning of anxiety. Possibly one of the hardest champion battles in the entire series. This drum beat almost beats the whole idea into your head that you are in for one heck of a battle and you're almost guaranteed to come out of this with your life barely intact. The synth and drum beats work so well together and just adds to the enjoyment when you finally finish the battle. Also, don't think I forgot about it, but this also plays during the red battle at the top of Mount Silver in the post game. Gosh, I love Gen 2 Pokemon so much. Now for song number three, and the Tales of Entry on this list. Fury Sparks from Tales of Vesperia, composed by Matoi Sakuraba. You knew he was gonna get a mention on this list, didn't you? Fury Sparks is a song that plays in the 1v1 battle between Yuri and Flynn. This song has so much emotion behind it. I'm not sure how the music does it, but somehow it conveys that feeling of lifelong friends just having a friendly fight with one another that is long overdue. I always kept a save right before this fight so I could play it over and over. This isn't only one of my favorite boss battle themes, but probably one of my favorite tunes in the entire series. The guitar? Fire. The drum solos? Fire. The keyboard background? Fire. Tell me I'm not the only one that wants to go play Tales of Vesperia again after listening to this.
can't have a list of iconic boss battle tracks without Megalovania. I feel everyone and their mothers has heard this song is probably one of the songs that has the most fan covers ever. Megalovania from Undertale, composed by Toby Fox. Fun fact, this song was actually composed for an Earthbound hack, but eventually it made it into Toby Fox's own game. I love how this song starts out with a gentle sort of beat, and then jumps into pure chaos. It plays at the end of a genocide run, and let's be honest, this kind of beat is not something you want a genocidal maniac to be listening to after he's murdered everything in existence. You should be calming them down, not encouraging more mindless slaughter. Such a dang good tune, and you're welcome. Now it's going to be stuck in your head for the next week. Share this video around with your friends so they can get it stuck in their head as well. Have you played the Trail series at this point? I feel everyone needs to because it's so good on every level and that does include its music. To the Future from The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4, composed by Falcom Sound Team JDK. I'm not going to gush too much about Falcom Sound Team JDK, there was enough of that in my last video. This song is strangely calming, which is quite odd for a final boss theme, but I think it suits it. After four games, a massive storyline finally coming to an end, or so we thought at the time. Having a calm battle theme really symbolizes the hope to the future. See what I did there? You cringed, didn't you? If so, mission accomplished. The piano and soft drums really make me feel at ease with this battle theme. It's so gentle, but feels somewhat triumphant. If you haven't enjoyed this series yet, I honestly feel you should. It's a slow burn, but absolutely worth it. But Shinky, the original version is the best one. You're a heathen. Get out of here. Hey, hear me out, you guys. Yes, the original composed by Nobu Yuimatsu is absolutely amazing, and I won't try to convince you otherwise. However, I personally love how the Final Fantasy XIII 2 version of Battle on the Big Bridge has that very Japanese feel to it. The windpipes add a nice flair to it, however it's disappointing that it's only part of a DLC battle. At least it leads to classic Gilgamesh humor. I've been waiting in this Colosseum for so very long now! I was starting to worry that you'd never download this part of the game! And I'd be stuck in digital limbo! There's been so many versions of this song. Which one's your favorite? This song starts so hard. Deadly Temptation from Ease 8, composed by Falcom Sound Team JDK. I love Ease music so much. While the Trail series gets that softer, more melodic music, Falcom's other flagship series, Ease, has a tendency to go for more of a rock bass, and I'm all for it. Deadly Temptation is fire right from the get-go and doesn't slow down. Just goes non-stop, giving you that high-octane adrenaline rush from start to finish. Ease 8 is another game that absolutely has to be played. One of my top 5 games of all time, the music is one of the main reasons why. This is only one song from the game, and the rest of the soundtrack does not disappoint. Ease 8 also got a song on my regular battle theme list. It's not a surprise though, Falcom Sound Team JDK is probably the perfect composer. Okay, I'll stop simping. My bad. This song is the sound I hear in my head when I'm anxious. It's just that opening riff, it's so aggressive. It might start out intense and almost like audio diarrhea so to speak, but it eventually transitions into such an amazing battle theme, then slows down into one of the best battle themes. I've only played the PS4 remake of Secret of Mana. Please don't hit me with rotten fruit for that, but I love the original version over the PS4 remaster soundtrack of the song. I actually didn't get to playing Secret of Mana until 2021, and I really regret it. The game itself is amazing, and the music is iconic. Though, 
I feel this music should get reserved for a final battle, but hey, the more we get to hear it, the better, I guess? While most of the songs in this list are because of the intensity of them and the frustration of boss fights, I had to choose this song just because of how genius the composing of the song is. Scrap and Build Ourselves from Eternal Sonata, composed by Matoi Sakuraba. What I find absolutely amazing about this boss theme is the fact that it takes Chopin's original compositions and work it into the battle theme. If you listen carefully, you can hear both Chopin's rageful revolutionary etude and Winter Wind. The way they both get incorporated into a boss theme is just amazing. This song really screams, a legendary musician is on his way to kick your ass with nothing but a top hat and a baton. It's honestly a crime that in 2023, there is no way to play this game on modern hardware. Come on Namco Bandai, give us a remaster or add it to the Series X backward compatibility list. Probably one of the most infamous boss battle themes for being so over the top and ridiculous. Eternity, composed by Nobuo Yuimatsu, the lyrics, believe it or not, were written by Mr. Final Fantasy himself, Hironobu Sakaguchi, and has vocals by the legendary Ian Gillen from the band Deep Purple. I still remember when I was playing this game for the first time. I ran into the first boss and had the biggest WTF moment. I knew the game was silly, but this was so over the top and I was all for it. I love that the electric organ solo in this song, it's almost as if they're trying to remind you that yes, don't worry, this was composed by Nobu Yuimatsu. You have songs like One Winged Angel with the Latin lyrics to instill fear in you, and then you have things like this, just to make you rock out as you deliver the most utmost pain to your opponent. Personally, I prefer the latter to be honest. Well, that's it for my 10 favorite boss battle themes. Boss battle themes can be incredibly varied and still suit that battle so well. They can also be a little bit more unique as you aren't listening to them for the entirety of a 50 hour game. I know there are tons of iconic ones, but these personally are the ones that stuck out for me. Did I miss your favorite boss battle theme? Let me know what your favorite boss battle theme is in the comments below. I can't wait to hear them. If you enjoy these top 10 lists, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and ding that bell notification so you know when my videos go live. That's the meat and potatoes, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and have a wonderful day.